I'm showing you two easy methods to make miniature floors for your dollhouse or diorama using free materials. I'm using cereal box to make my floors, but you can use any chipboard paper packaging. I want to work with a nice flat piece, so I'm preparing the cereal box by removing the flaps. For 112 scale floors, I made marks at a quarter inch on the top and bottom of the piece of chipboard and cut a bunch of strips. I'm using this canvas panel board as the base of my floor because I already had it. It's essentially glued layers of thick chipboard covered in canvas. You can attach your strips of flooring with glue, but I'm using this double-sided flooring tape that's meant for full-size carpet and vinyl flooring installation. I prefer using double-sided tape to attach flooring and shingles because it holds right away and there's no risk of warping from the moisture of glue. If you attach your strips with glue, make sure you use a book to weigh them down as they dry so they don't peel up. I am pressing the tape down and removing the top layer to reveal the adhesive. I am installing the strips by placing them on the double sided tape. I am using my fingernails to push and pull the strip into its final position before pressing it down. When I apply the strips, I'm leaving a small gap between them so it looks more realistic. If you butt the strips right up against one another, you'll lose some dimension. If I was doing this again, I would paint the base first so there isn't white showing between the gaps in the boards. I like a random look so I'm staggering my seams, but you could also line them up. For more interest, you could install this flooring in a chevron pattern, parquet, or whatever else you'd like. For a tape that falls outside of the pattern of your floor, you can use your knife and roll it away. It's easy to tidy up the perimeter using a crafter utility knife and a straight edge. I'm sanding the floor because the blade made a few raised areas, especially on the ends, and I want it all nice and flat. I'm using Waverly Antique Wax to stain the floor, but you can also use watered down brown paint or wood stain. I'm still learning how to use this product properly, and I should have wiped away the excess as I went, but the outcome is still really good in the end. I'm sealing the floor with a water based polyurethane. I prefer this type of product over Mod Podge because Mod Podge leaves visible brush strokes. I conducted a little experiment to see if there is an even faster and simpler way to get the same type of look. Rather than cutting out individual strips, I'm using a pointy tool to engrave the look of wood floors on this piece of cereal box. I engraved the horizontal lines one quarter inch apart. I used the same antique wax, but this time I applied it and wiped away the excess, which is the proper way to use this product. The stain is settling into the lines I engraved and it's giving a really convincing look of a wood floor. I finished this the same way using some water based sealer. This is the one with the engraved lines and this is the floor where I laid individual strips. In real life, the one with the individual strips definitely has more dimension, but I think they look pretty similar. <laughs> 